Hello guys, a very good morning. This is Dr. Anjit again. We are in the day four challenge today, and first we will discuss the previous day's challenge answers. We had a history of Lynch syndrome and a biopsy of colonic adenocarcinoma yesterday, right? If you missed it, just go to the playlist and have a look at that. I had asked a few questions following that. Amazing response as usual. The clinical criteria which will help me to predict your Lynch syndrome is Amsterdam's criteria. There are two Amsterdam's criteria: Amsterdam one and two. and a microscopic criteria or a diagnostic criteria which will help me to do a genetic testing is called as a metastar criteria that is also has to do with your hnpc or your lens syndrome the third one the image which i showed was positive for mlh if the person is positive for mlh i'm going to think that it's is unlikely to be a microsatellite instability because mlh if it's present it's a normal person right these are the few questions which i asked yesterday and let's go with today's challenge today fine right? This is one of the thing which came to our lab. Like uh, it's actually one of the consultants relative, a 15 year old girl uh, with a history of fever and cervical lymphadenopathy, and a biopsy was done. Fine. So the biopsy showed this finding. It's a very classical history. Right? The biopsy showed this finding. One thing I can appreciate here, you are going to tell me the diagnosis. I'll just give you leading points here. One thing you can see here is these areas. Definitely, whatever areas we are showing shading is predominantly pink in color. So this is a low power image. Even a low power image, I'm thinking of something of a necrosis. Okay, I'm sure you will have some diagnosis in your mind. Wait for some seconds. When I go to zoom into that, I'm going to see this area, right? Just definitely, whatever we see, what we saw in the low power, I confirmed here. They are necrosis. In the areas of necrosis, there are tiny, tiny blue dots here. This is a very important clue for this disease. In addition to that, what I am seeing here is surrounding that area of necrosis. What I am seeing here is lots of histiocytes. Actually, these are lots of foamy macrophages, right? I am seeing foamy macrophages. I am seeing necrosis. Seeing necrosis. I am seeing lots of tiny blue dots in the area of necrosis. I'll give you a clue. I am going to call this a neutrophilic debris. Fine. So these are the finding which I have seen in a cervical lymph node of a 15-year-old kid. So now let me come to the questions. The questions what I'm going to ask in this uh, uh, case scenario is first thing my diagnosis. My diagnosis is very very classical. Second thing I want to tell me what other disease will you evaluate when you have this diagnosis in mind. The third question what will be the WBC count or your CBC finding in this patient. The fourth question there is we saw lots of histiocytes here right. To prove that this is that particular diagnosis what I'm thinking about I need a marker. Uh, one marker is going to be positive for in those histiocytes. Tell me that marker. We saw this in the previous yesterday's uh, session as well. I just want you to make sure you remember the disease because it's a very important disease in future and it may come in your exam as well. Fine. I expect your answers in the comment. The diagnosis, and I want the associated disease, the WBC count, what will happen in this patient, and also marker which will help me to prove the diagnosis. Fine. See you soon in another case tomorrow. Till then, bye bye from Dr. Anjit. Bye bye.